Hey guys, Lazy here. Oh my gosh, he's cute. Anyway, welcome to my garage. And I realize you probably haven't seen this. Uh, it's my newest motorcycle, so here's my garage and here's my motorcycle. So I just went on a trip to, what was it? Uh, Lake Michigan, I was gone for six days. I recorded a very long video and I'm in the middle of editing that. And I need to put some parts on the bike, and I thought, I'll record this and do this now, but I'm going to do this video now and upload it soon, and then the long video will come out later because it's taking me a long time. But in this video, aside from just showing the cute things I'm going to do, which isn't much, I thought now would be a good time to talk about the bike and all the stuff that I did to it already. Anyway, this is a 2018 BMW R1200 GS Adventure, very long name. I got this from the original owner maybe seven weeks ago. I flew to Texas and then I rode it home. So that was a full day. Um, he did some things to it before I got it and I've done some things since. And I'm probably gonna end up repeating myself between this video and the long one that's gonna come out about the trip. Hey, look at that. And the time left it back here, Cicada used it. That's offensive, okay. So what did he do to it? Um, well, first of all, there were only like 3,000 miles on it. So basically a new bike. Uh, he did a bunch of Touratech stuff. So these side plates, which I have to fix because they're not holding on very well. They're probably okay. Uh, what else did he do? He did this Corbin seat. I put on the backrest, but he had this Corbin seat on there. Uh, he bought, but didn't put on the Touratech uh, radiator guards. He had a headlight guard, which I used parts of to do my own. He put these Toratec uh, light guards on. He, there wasn't much on here that he did. The rest of it I did myself. I'll, I'll just start from front to back. Um, after I got it, I put on, well, I didn't put them on. I bought them and I had a shop put these on. I can't do tires, but um, the... Dunlop Trail Max Mission. I got those on my Dual Sport and I really, really like them. So I put them on here and they've been great. Um, man, it doesn't look like I did much. I did some stuff. This is a combination of two headlight guards. Uh, I put that together. I replaced all of the <clears throat> LED bulbs or the bulbs with LED plates. So another LED. I need to grab the key. Spam card holder. So you can grab cards out. That's always important. Uh, phone mount. Uh, these uh, risers uh, luckily came with the bike. They weren't installed, but these were the ones I was going to buy anyway. I had a shop put these on because I didn't want to mess with this, um, but I had those put on. It does come with the NAV6. This is his tank bag. It came with his tank bag and it came with the uh, BMW side panniers, which I have all the luggage. They're just not on right now. I blacked out the badges because it's very simple and I think it looks better than blue. It's just that triangle isn't blue. It's just black. Uh, highway pegs, relatively cheap, pretty simple, very useful on long rides. Uh, he did these, which I really love. I wish they had a similar set for the back because I use the back on long trips when I'm standing up and I'm leaning forward on the highway or if I'm uh, wanting to change the position of my legs. But this almost fell off on my, la on my ride, so I need to kind of fix this. Um, I put this backrest. Uh, on it comes with it. Well, it doesn't come with the Corbin seat, but it's made for the seat. So I put that on there, and that's super useful. Um, caps some of them he did, some of them I did. Uh, I'm missing stuff for sure. I have a whole list. In fact, I'm gonna grab my phone and pull it up and see what it says. Cute. I don't think I care if you see what the price of everything was, but I wrote it all down. So here are the parts that I did. Uh, unchecked are basically the parts I have here I haven't put on yet. But all of these things I did minus the handlebar and the tires. Everything else I did. So when I got back from my trip, um, I learned about some things that my bike kind of needed or should have. And so I got some things to fix and some things to put on. Mostly it's just things I'm fixing or tightening down. A couple of grow pro mounts need to be removed. The pasture foot pig needs to be fixed. Uh, Tortex side panels. 
Uh, I'm going to go through and Loctite a couple parts I put on before because I didn't have Loctite on them because I didn't have Loctite then and I really want Loctite on them now, not to mention one of them definitely got loose. On the trip, this guard I put on started to rotate forward um, and I think the luggage was had just a little bit of play on the highway. I think I was seeing this and I was like, ugh. Redo the blind spot mirrors with new ones. I got a bag I want to put on and then I'm going to mess with this tool kit box which probably won't work but we'll see the pannier nets aren't here yet they won't be here till later in the week but i didn't want to wait that long are you a walrus are you a walrus poor guy he doesn't know anything he's too small oh <laughs> oh all right the thing i want to do the least is the gopro mounts so i need my top box and my keys let me go grab that Working around a big dog in a little garage. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is the GoPro mounts because I want to do them the least. They're also the simplest. I'm gonna start with simplest to most difficult. Cute. Power strip for working in my garage. I actually, <laughs> uh, I put pizza boxes on here, which was hilarious, but then I realized, well, if there's anything, including a mount right here, then it blocks whatever goes on top. So I'm gonna move them out from here to here so that there's still hopefully a flush level to put stuff. I saw you wagging your tail. I saw. Nope, I ran out, I don't have any. I'm starting to change my mind on this completely. I do want a camera that faces backwards. Now the reason I have these GoPro mounts, uh, I had one here on the pannier, I have this one and I have a cool one hanging way down here, is because uh, I'm gonna be going on a BDR in like three weeks and I wanted some places to put some cool angles. I'd like one that faces backwards. It's supposed to be on here, but I lost a mount on the, on the road and I don't have a new one, I don't have any yet, so I'm gonna have to just transfer it. Here's something very cool. I got this and I used it for that one shot of holding the camera to talk to myself because I thought it'd be cool. I bought it brand new from Amazon from GoPro. But when I got it, it was very clearly heavily used because it's got scuff marks all over it. And I thought, very cool GoPro. Thank you for selling me a used product for a new price. I need a scissor. Man, I brought all my tools up on this tray. At least I thought I did, but I keep forgetting stuff. Call that done. Is that one thing done on my list? Just one? Okay, this is next. <sighs> I already kind of reset it. I looked for aftermarket pasture pegs that don't really have any. I need a tweezer to pull this thing. There you go. Boner, what are you messing with my tools for? I was worried that was gonna fall off when I was riding. I was like, oh no, I can't stand up on these rear pegs anymore. Because normally on a bike like this, you stand up. But if you're going 75 miles an hour on the interstate, then this catches too much wind. But if you put your feet on the rear pegs and get more forward lean angle, you can get into the wind better and not get knocked back. So I stand on these and I'm on the highway just to stretch my legs. But this was coming off. I didn't know exactly how it was breaking, but I knew it was breaking, and I just thought, nope, do not stand on that until you get home. So the last eight hours of the trip, I did not touch this, and it sucked, because I like standing every once in a while. Side panels. Now, these are messed up because um, at one point on my trip, it had to get towed, spoiler. And so there were straps that went through here, and they went through this bar, and they just pulled and snapped what zip tie would have been here. So that's all it really needs is Another zip tie, I think. Just a bunch of little things that need to be gotten to before my next trip. Hands up. How exciting. How exciting. Didn't fall off with the one zip tie. I won't fall off with the two. Yeah, same thing over here. 
cute. Every time. Fixed. Loctite. I don't want to do that. Uh, the Sykra hand guards will be actually pretty easy. <sighs> I want a chair. Why am I? Why am I standing? Standing is for losers. Let's use my garage workbench. All right. How am I gonna do this without getting all over my clothes? That's what she asked me. It's probably fine. <clears throat> Probably too much, actually. Oh well. I think better too much than too little, but I'm no doctor. Now we use our eyeballs. Open your eyes, Arbiter. But what of the weapons, Arbiter? What about the goddamn weapons? Hmm. Hmm. Am I, um, what the? <laughs> okay, I hope I didn't just break it. Oh no, no. Okay, that's salvageable. Why is it headed like that if there's no lock? It doesn't make sense to me. Hmm, it doesn't make sense to me. But then, you are very small. Perhaps you're right. Oh, that doesn't make sense to me. But then, you are very small. Perhaps you're right. No, 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 you stay. You stay. You stay. You also stay, please. Okay. All right. I'm going to call those done. You don't have this problem, Ronan. All the water I'm drinking keeps escaping my body. You have a different problem. You're completely covered in hair. And no heat escapes your body. <laughs> okay. Well, the GV plate is next. This was a bit of a project to get this on. Where are the keys? Rico's keys. Give them to me. Rico's keys. Give them to me. That line is so funny to me for some reason. It's not funny at all, but to me, it's like, who talks like that? Rico's keys. Give them to me. This is a bit of a, a bitch because this is an aftermarket part for the aftermarket seat, and I had to buy different bolts to make this work, and there's like four different things happening here. That's why I don't want to take this apart, but like it feels solid, but I really want to redo these four. Nice and slow. That's another quote. Nice and slow. I don't know what it's called, but it's a tool that gives you leverage. 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 You put like a rod on here and then it gives you more leverage. I don't have that, but that'd be very nice right now. This isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought when I take these apart, the whole thing's going to come apart, but nah, it's one at a time. Ugh. Sloppy, 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 pretending to fail. Sloppy, pretending to fail. Geez, all the quotes are just rushing in my head. Uh oh, that sounds like ass. Aha, I found the noise, woohoo! There was a rattling when I was going at low speed, or, ah, oh, I messed that up. There was a rattling when I was going at low speed and I was wondering, like, what's that noise? Something's loose and like, ah, I just found it. This bolt's coming loose. So is this one. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is very bad. So it's just a reinforcement plate, but the nuts that go underneath are missing. That really sucks. Until I can find new washers for this, that's not gonna go anywhere. I do not want to take that off. Oh, I don't want to. This sucked. That sucked ass to put on. And in order to take this off and tighten those properly, I have to take this off. But this isn't loose. It's it's not at all. I'm not worried yet. What I'm more concerned about is this. So I'm going to stop. I'll come back with nuts. I know what the rattling was. Something was loose and that was it. I, I can fix that. That's what I was worried about. And I did a little bit of reinforcement. I'm gonna say it's fine. I'll just keep an eye on it. Replace the nuts, keep an eye on it. All right, so these uh, wide angle mirrors, angled mirrors. Angled mirrors. Really useful on a long trip. If you're going hundreds of miles, you just wanna be able to see. I liked them. Bad news was I kept running into this one on the low side. I just, between getting on and off, I kept hitting it. I'm not sure why, but eventually I snapped it good news is the pair is six dollars so i don't it's not a big deal i bought a, another pair i'm gonna move them in to the corners instead because maybe then i won't hit them and i can still make them look kind of aesthetically pleasing how do you get a flat edge into a surface and not scratch it in the least because you're working on a mirror 
That's the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. I need a flat edge something. Let me go look. I know of one thing I could use. I don't want it. It's this. Well, that's fine, I think. Yeah, that worked just fine. Oh, man. It's never going to come off unless I get it now. This is why I wish I had my tools in my garage. Every time I need something, I have to walk back and go downstairs, go in the other room. Right now, I'm wishing I could get my gunk remover because that would fix it. But at some point, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. All right, so this is gonna pop off. I'm gonna keep that as a spare. That's how it's supposed to work, by the way. There's a ball joint, and um, the mirror can move freely on that, and then this has an adhesive, but the ball joint on this one snapped. But for $3, a mirror, yeah, that's about, about what I would expect. That worked good. Oh no, the same thing? Come on, man. That sucks. I don't wanna, but I wanna do it properly, so let me go get my gunk spray. Ugh. There's, this stuff sucks to use. But it does work eventually, and that's key. Normally I do like an alcohol wipe, but it just doesn't really matter. I just want them to be mostly clean before I start putting an adhesive on there. Don't tell me this needs a scissor to open. That definitely needs a scissor to open. So I'm gonna put that deep in there, platonically. Yeah, that's gonna work fine, that's fine. It's hard to press it on without like shattering it in your fingers. That looks not as good as I thought it would. Well, they're not very pretty, but they should do the job. They should be easy if it'll work at all. I'm looking at it now and thinking, man, I don't know. I wasn't planning to get this. I was looking for a different, well, that the hard thing I may or may not do. But I saw this and I was like, oh, well, this might be a good thing to put on the bike. Takes up dead space in the bike right there. Uh, well, I mean, it would if I didn't have these in there. So that's probably not even compatible. That is not gonna work. Good news is this one less thing to do. The bad news is I suck. I'm not one to write reviews, but I probably should send a message to the bros. Hey, if you have an aftermarket tail kit, it's not going to be compatible. Yes, I'm aware. I could take off my plate and then it'd be much easier to get on, but I do not want to take this off. I hate this. And even then it wouldn't fit. It, I mean, I could get it under there, but then it'd be, it's going to be so crammed that like, it's going to be useless. <laughs> I can't pull and be under there. It's not possible. Why isn't it possible? Why isn't it possible? So, uh, Tour Tech, hi buddy. Tour Tech makes one of these um, toolboxes, which costs way too much. It's like 250 bucks. I'm like, no. But there are a bunch of aftermarket ones that are like 70. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll give that a try. But the reviews are always disparaging and saying, ah, oh, it doesn't fit the bike. Um, so, without trying to mess up the packaging too much, I want to try to verify whether or not this is actually going to fit before I mess it up. Because if it doesn't fit, I'm not gonna install it obviously, but I wanna return it. I got a air pump that I really want to be able to fit in this box. So I'm gonna just see if it does fit. Tell you what, if it doesn't fit in here, I'm probably not gonna wanna use this toolbox. I like the idea of a designated toolbox though. There's no way. Why is the opening smaller than the than the, the housing? That's so stupid. There's like a whole inch lost. Half inch here, half inch here. If that wasn't the case, I could get it to fit, but this is too... Let me go make sure, let me go grab the pump. <sighs> stupid. I just, I'm just so annoyed at that design. I don't even think I want to put it on. I think I'm exactly right in that the housing is big enough, but the opening isn't. I haven't even held this in my hands. I just saw pictures of it. Look at that. If the, out, the house, if the opening was the right size, this would go right in there, but no. That frustrates me and makes me want to not give them any money. Now I realized I could just do this and that would work, but I really don't want to do that. I like my case. 
seriously, I kind of need to keep this case and everything together. Yeah, I gotta poop. Let's hurry this up. I wonder why this bag is open. Both the bags are open. It's almost as if someone opened them and didn't close them. Like someone returned them almost. Protective film, there is no protective film. It's almost like somebody got out the protective film and repackaged it. It's almost like someone returned it. Yeah, that's never a good sign if something you buy has been clearly repackaged and parts are missing. It just doesn't instill a lot of faith. I'm gonna hold up to the bike with these Lego pieces and look at it with my brain, but it doesn't look good. Cause the way I think is maybe I could make it work, but at what cost? At what cost? It's supposed to sit like this, but then you can't make this meet. You can only make mounting here, which isn't enough. Doesn't look good. Possible, I mean, yeah, you can make anything work with enough duct tape, but like I'm looking at this and I'm thinking this is just not good. Coupled with the fact, uh, I don't wanna admit defeat, but coupled with the fact that the pump isn't gonna fit in here anyway, I just don't wanna do this. Disappointed, but I was prepared to not like this. I bought it thinking, yeah, I might look at it and go, this thing sucks and I don't want it and then I'll be ready to return it. Okay, I'm not gonna keep the camera around for the rest of it, but I'm basically gonna clean up, rebox stuff. But um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But I got what I, I got done basically what I needed to get done. I put the handle away, otherwise I'd aim the camera at myself and the dog. But now would be a good time to mention that I'm gonna be going to the Mid-Atlantic BDR at the end of, what month is it, August? Um, I will probably have a mini meet or mention someplace I'm gonna be for you guys to come out and see me. If I do that, it's gonna be posted on the community wall or YouTube where like you can post and write stuff on what that's called, a community post. That's where I would write down the time and address. So if you want a chance to see me when I'm traveling, uh, look out for that. The video of the most recent trip is very long. The trip was like six days and I think the video is going to be at least a couple hours long. It's just a long video. So that'll come out later, working on it. Now the shade's here. Now it's kind of nice. This is what I wanted to work in. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you later.